construction wraps up on one section of Coit Road, work to widen another part begins. Uh, we tried to build it out to where it's, it's completely built out to its full six lanes. Road work means more ways for drivers to get around Frisco. Really all that's left south of Maine is uh, land, median landscaping and um, irrigation. Crews are putting the final touches on the project to widen Coit Road from Highway 121 to Main Street. Work started the 1st of 2021 and is expected to be complete this spring. We have added turn lanes at various locations. We widened the bridge over West Rowlett Creek, um, and that's right near Lindhurst Drive. And so that, in conjunction with a new signal at that intersection, really helps to improve traffic safety in that area. Plus, trees in the median south of Main Street were removed and relocated. The ones that could survive a transplant were transplanted to various city parks and other public spaces. Crews have also started to widen the next section of Coit Road. About January, we started construction, which goes from Main Street to Buckeye Drive, just north of El Dorado. Similar projects, uh, added capacity, adding the third lanes of both the northbound and the southbound direction. As part of the project, the city will add a pedestrian hybrid beacon, a first for Frisco. It will replace the current crossing signal at Hay River Trail that helps people get to and from Moss Middle School. It operates similar to how a pedestrian crossing does with a signal, but uh, the, when a pedestrian wants to cross, they can activate the signal. Once activated, the light will first turn yellow to slow drivers, then turn red to stop drivers. After a set time, the light will flash red so drivers will stop and look for pedestrians before proceeding through the crosswalk. Then the signal will turn dark until activated again. This section is expected to be finished at the end of this year or early next year, then it's on to the final part of Coit. Which goes from Buckeye Drive up to 380, um, and we're going to start the design of that project this summer, and then uh, hopefully be under construction late next year. The final section should take a year to 15 months to complete. The first two widening projects each cost about $7 million, paid for with voter-approved bonds. The third and final section is estimated to cost about the same. When the work is complete, Coit Road will be six lanes through Frisco from Highway 121 to US 380. We'll have seven and a half miles of Coit Road having been widened from the north city limits to the south city limits. In the meantime, city engineers request your patience. Construction is always a struggle. It's a struggle for the people out there doing the work and a struggle for people that are traveling through the project. I think everybody realizes that at the end, it's going to be a huge benefit. Mm -hmm.